Hello guys, welcome to Why the Media, and today we're actually going to be going over a tutorial, a simple After Effects tutorial actually, to make this cool little animated text highlight. I work for a TV station in St. Louis, and actually we have, we have used our this effect in our promos. So this little simple effect, let me just show you it. Yeah, it's this. It's this little nice little slick highlight text. It's a simple effect but in this you'll actually learn some interesting techniques that you can use for other things in After Effects specifically using different layers for masks for objects and so forth so and this is more examples of using that so that's what we're going to do today so let's begin first and foremost uh, launch After Effects and we don't need to do that because we're not um, we're not newbies so we don't need to explore it and like anything else we're going to start with a new composition the timing really doesn't matter for how long it's going to be, but uh, I think 10 seconds is fine. It's going to be less than 10 seconds. And as for the dimensions, 920p by 1080 works just fine. I wouldn't recommend doing something for 4K really, um, especially for this effect. Um, even if you're going to be working in 4K, it doesn't need to be necessarily that big. As for the frames per second, uh, generally most Unless you're doing something really specific, like working with video games or something, I'm gonna just recommend 29.9. That's what our TV station really works on. So that's just a little in depth for anything, but uh, you know, just basic uh, composition settings. Don't need to go too in depth on it. So let's begin. So we have this blink composition and your settings might be a little different, but I'm gonna help you with that uh, if there is. So first and foremost, I like to, um, change my background I want to see what's in the background so for this effect I like to go with a bright color so a bright nice yellow would able to see the differences between black and white so we got this nice little solid effect don't worry your animation won't be like that so the first and most important thing is that we're gonna start with making some text so let's get this going and then as you can see my text is a little too large to see but uh, for this, you can use whatever font you want. Um, I like using uh, Futura. That's uh, if I'm working on a personal project, I like using Futura BK. It's just a nice clean font. And for this example tutorial, I'm just gonna say this is text. Um, like I showed in the video, um, Thick text looks really good, but you know, small text can look pretty well as well. So, um, this is our first part, and we're gonna go take this, and I'm just gonna bring it to the center, holding shift and the arrow key, just bring it down. Um, just make sure you don't have any uh, tools on that. And then also, uh, something I like to do whenever I'm working for something, I like to make sure everything's centered. So how I did that is that I hovered over the pan behind and just hit hold held control on my keyboard and just double click that and that centered it. And yeah, so that's just what I'm doing. I, I hit P to bring up position. Uh, 960 is the middle part. And then 540 is gonna be the um, middle part. This isn't necessarily important. This is just for my OCD purposes, but um, we just got a basic text on here and it's uh, working pretty solid. So actually what I want to do is I actually want to label this. So hitting enter on a layer is going to let you label it, even if it's uh, text. And we're just going to call this white text. Alrighty. Now what we're going to do now is going to hit control D and duplicate this going to rename it as black text. Now on this black text layer with the um, with the te uh, type tool selected, I'm going to go over it and then highlight it all and then go over here and change it to black. So we have a black text and a white text and so when you hold it over changes from black to white but we want them both both of these layers uh, viewed on so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take click the rectangle tool and if it's on something different just hold it and then hover over the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna make a basic box 
Now, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure there's basically no stroke on it. I mean, you can have a stroke on it, but it's really not important. And I just kinda want a basic shape layer on it. And actually, I think it works better when it's uh, square, but um, you can adjust this if you want to later. So after this, I am going to make sure it's centered again, or the anchor is centered again, by holding the center tool, by, by holding control, then double clicking the center tool. And now we're gonna get into some animation. So go on that first shape layer, which I actually wanna rename white box. I'm gonna hit P. I'm gonna move it over. Um, and you can adjust to wherever you want it to. Um, if you want it to go from, obviously I want it to go from left to right. If you want it uh, up to down, just mess with the uh, different position by hitting the B tool. So once we got to where we want the box to begin, hit the little stopwatch, it's gonna start a keyframe and scroll down to, I like to do about 75% of a second. And then you can just finish on something I want to highlight. It doesn't really matter. And a big important thing about this is that I like my animations to be smooth. So if we take this, it looks pretty amateur. So for every kind of movement I use in After Effects, I always like to highlight my keyframes on this timeline and hit F9. It's going to automatically make these smooth. See, it already looks better. Now, in addition to that, I like go into the graph editor, scrolling down, highlighting this, and hit hold shift just to make sure it doesn't move too much. And this will actually um, add some curvature to the movement. You don't have to do that, it's pretty simple. You just gotta make sure you have your keyframes highlighted. You go to the graph editor, and then this is a representation of the movement in your. Um, of your object you're trying to move in After Effects. So just click it again to go away. And here's where the fun part begins. So I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna rename this from white box to be white box, or actually I'll just call it mask. And so what you'll notice is that we have two of the same boxes all over each other, but that's totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is put this white mask box in between the white and the black. You wanna make sure that everything is stacked exactly like this, otherwise this won't work. Then after that, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the black text layer and change it from no track, the tracking, to alpha mask. What this is gonna do is gonna bring back your white text. Let me bring it over. It's gonna highlight it and only reveal the black because the white box that we duplicated only shows what's underneath it. So we have so we have this black text, text, and what it does is that we made it so it only reveals if the mask is over it. So yeah, this is the tutorial. It's pretty simple. Um, take off that back layer if you want to do something. And what I recommend if you want, you know, put this into some video. You know, just hit Control I find something you wanted to put in. So, I mean, I have this, you know, that's, a, that's an audio file, so let me try to find an actual video file. So, it's gonna import the video. All you have to do is just put it in the background and just bring it to a part, and as you can see, it works pretty well. Oops. Let me turn off the audio. And there you go. Looks pretty nice. It's a pretty slick thing, you know. And then if you want to, you can just uh, duplicate your composition, go into it, and you know, make sure you can tell the difference by using that enter shortcut, uh, text one or text two, if you wanted something different. And so your compositions are named right here. Well, I have comp one, I have text one. Uh, there we go, these are actually appropriately named now. So what you can do is that, what I would recommend is that, so whatever you change, you must change in both of them. So for this white text, let's go to the 
beginning. Get our tool. This is us. That's a that's actually a show that's on NBC that I work for. And then I would just have to make sure in the black text that I change it to us. And as you can see, it works just the same. So just make sure you change that. And so this is text one. Text two is the original one. So obviously you can take out the video, bring in this into Premiere and make a different one. So that's a tutorial. Thank you so much. Leave a like if you liked it.